What's happening? What's happening? Man, have you ever been around somebody drunk and all the fuck they do is talk, 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 talk? They aggravating as hell, right? That nigga used to be me, man. I used to be in the bottom of the bottle for years. I'm talking about all my 20s, all my 30s, and, mo and half, most of my 40s. Drink like a fish, the bottom of the bottle. You know what I'm saying? I've made my worst mistakes drinking. Then, then had a DWI, then, then fucking, then, then, then got caught speeding while drunk. The police take me to jail for driving while suspended, but don't give me a DUI. I'm drunk as hell. Wake up in jail. I done woke up, and people know where I'm from. We from Ham, from Hammond. I done woke up in Crown Point and didn't know how I got there. Type shit, just drunk bullshit. But I'm going to tell y'all a story of what made me stop that shit. And I'm telling you, I used to be in the bottom of the bottom. Look, check it out. So one day, I'm at my guy Pumpkinhead house. And whoever, all, you know, people that know me from the hood, you know what I'm saying? They know who Pumpkinhead is. So we over there playing chess. And quietly, I'm fucking him up. But in chess. But... We drinking some ENJ and I don't, I don't even know why I was drinking that shit. He was drinking some ENJ. So I didn't, I didn't got kind of chopped, whatever. So his girl come in, she on one. That's between them two though. They argued a little bit. I sat there for a minute to see if our little thing was going to resume. But after I seen it, was, she had a trip. I was like, I got to roll. So I left. Mind you. My wife just bought a uh, 2016 Ford Explorer in 2016. This was 2016. So I'm in that motherfucker. So I leave Pumpkinhead crib and I go to JD's. A few niggas in Hammond from JD's. So, oh yeah, man, this is where I need to be anyway. So I see the twins. Game time barbecue. Go get you some game time barbecue. Shit delicious. Game time barbecue. You can look them up on Facebook, Instagram. You know what I'm saying? Put in your orders. Indianapolis area, 219 areas, they everywhere. Game time barbecue. But anyway, game time barbecue. Marcus and Maurice, they twins. They and a couple other people, they cousin, I think they cousin Devontae. A couple people in there. They having shots. Real shit. I think it's tequila. Shots. I'm drinking with them. And mind you, shit was on the house. They like, man, get you a shot. Damn, they, they just passing them. We getting it in. So we in there, we drinking the shots, man. I don't leave JD's. We drinking shots and I'm buying my own beer and shit. I'm, I'm getting fucked up. Because I'm telling you, I used to be in the bottom of the bottle. I drinking a drunk not an alcoholic because an alcoholic gotta go to meetings and all that old shit i was a drunk you know what i'm saying but anyway i was we drunk we drunk in shot so I, I i wait till the lights come on in jd's right they close still drinking lead the crib this one is getting me excited because i'm telling you i used to be in the bottom of the bottle fucked up but anyway, so I'm riding, and you know how you drunk and you hear that song for people who drink and have, you know what I mean, been where I was at. You hear a song and you just want to hear that one go back to back, hear it again, play it again, play it again, and play it again. So I'm doing that on the way to the crib. I lived in Speedway then in Indianapolis. So I pulls in the driveway. I'm still listening to the mother. I done put the motherfucker in park. Boom, that shit blazing. You know, nigga get drunk, he don't even want to go in the house. He trying to see what else happening at that. three or four o'clock in the morning. Man, ain't nothing open. You know what I'm saying? I used to get in trouble with my wife about that shit too, but that's a different segment. Because I wasn't on shit, but I just be drunk as hell and don't want to go in the house. 
So I'm sitting in the driveway listening to the song. Boom, boom, I think it's Yo Gotti. Touchdown. You know what I mean? I'm beating that shit back to back. So I'm beating it back to back. I wake up. I look up. There's a knock on the window. I look up. Now, mind you, it was 3.30 when I pulled in the drive. I wake up, it's daytime. I look up, and my wife is in the window. I remember nothing after that. Real talk. I think I went in the house. I got out the car. I think she locked the car up, put the car in the garage. I went in the house. I don't remember nothing after that. I think I, because our room was downstairs. So I think I fell down the stairs. All kind of simple shit, right? So I wake up. So now it's probably like one o'clock in the afternoon. I wake up, headache, head pounding, stomach fucked up. Man, I look up, my clothes is hanging on the wall. On the real, I don't know if I threw up on myself or pissed on myself, but I think I pissed on myself. I was fucked up. So I wake up, man. I feel so fucking small. I feel like, I feel like, man, I feel so small, man. Like, hey, you ever just did some shit and felt so small? I couldn't even look my wife in the face. I felt so small. Right then, I slowed down on that shit. I said, I'll never be in that situation again. Drunk like that, stumbling, falling downstairs, pissing on yourself. Like, I was a drunk, for real, like, for real. I used to be in the bottom of the bottle. Real talk. Now I don't even do that shit. I might have a drink once a week. Like, I control shit. And I thank God for discipline and shit and that I can come out of that shit. Like, that alcoholism, man. Because I came out of that shit cold turkey. I, I don't have no drink unless I want to. It's no necessity. You understand what I'm saying? And it wasn't a necessity then. I just was doing the shit. But I fucked up a lot. That alcohol, man. Real talk. I don't do it as much. I don't even... Like, I have a shot. I had a couple beers yesterday. But I don't... Fuck that shit. You know what I'm saying? Because I used to be in the bottom of the bottle. Real talk. Man. And I just lost a friend kind of to alcoholism. So... That's inspired by that, man. Rest in peace. Louis Nooney Jones. Man. Love, be safe.